thunderstorms have hit New South Wales over the last few days. They've been actually pretty intense. Gusts have reached over 90 kilometers an hour for places like uh, Albury and Dubbo, where we've seen damage there. And we've also seen flash flooding for places like Tuggeranong and even around the uh, Glen Innes area, which have very heavy rainfall rates. Some areas of New South Wales yesterday actually have rainfall rates over 18 millimeters in just 10 minutes' time. Meanwhile, the north has seen an active monsoon, bringing with it flash flooding risks and river flooding risks. Broom getting some good storms coming through, over 45 millimeters falling overnight, and over 40 millimeters falling to Darwin overnight as well. Looking ahead, we could see some showers and storms for southeast, but the main rainfall is going to be associated with dual cyclones developing over northern parts of Australia. The first one looks to be in parts of the western region. The other one looks to develop in the Gulf sometime Friday, Saturday, or even Sunday there, and draw in heavy rainfall and the monsoon trough over northern Australia. You can see to its east, we have this northerly flow coming in. That's going to be bringing a deluge through the Queensland tropical coast, including you around the Cairns area, and it does look like it'll be impacting a large amount of regions around the Gulf region, like Burktown, maybe even as far to the south as Mount Isa. Now looking ahead, that system will linger there, drawing the monsoon rains really far into the interior of Australia, bringing the risk of widespread heavy rainfall and flash flooding. Let's look at the forecast now. On Thursday, not too much rain expected over the southeast. The heaviest rain is going to be over the north. You can see here, very heavy rain for the Queensland tropics with a developing low. So that's that tropical low threatening to turn into the season's fourth tropical cyclone. In fact, looking at Friday, potentially have a cyclone moving off the western coast here of the northwest shelf, bringing with it some heavy and squally rain, so the coastal fringe with the heaviest rain again over the northeast. Now we could see storms over Victoria and Tasmania. It's not reflected here. They look like dry thunderstorms, but they could bring a nice drop in temperature, but it's bad news for fireys in that region altogether. Saturday, we're going to see that system in the western region continue to move out to sea, but maybe totals widespread 20 to 50 millimeters over parts of the Gulf Coast and the Queensland's far north coast, including you around the Cairns and Cooktown area, and maybe even the Burktown region. As the low moves closer to the coast, heavy rain will continuously develop and fall for that region. Region. Again, bringing the risk of flash flooding and river flooding. While we see the risk of thunderstorms severe for eastern Victoria and parts of New South Wales, particularly on the ranges. Next week, we're going to continually see heavy rain if that low moves inland, drawing with it the risk of river flooding, fairly widespread for a large area, if the models are to believe. So you can see this over here. That's widespread totals over 150 millimeters with that red shading. Some areas around that Cairns coastline, potentially over 300 millimeters. While the southeast, we'll see a few thunderstorms continuing over Saturday and Sunday and Monday in particular, and they could be severe. <laughs> Dangerous fire weather today in South Australia and tomorrow in Tasmania, Victoria and parts of New South Wales. Before we get to the forecast, I want to show you the type of conditions that the Tasmania Fire Service is dealing with. Now this is a remote area, the Celtic River Fire in southwest Tasmania. And these are the conditions that they have to deal with here. Look at all the vast amounts of smoke. Difficult to spot where the fire is regardless of that. But the amount of local effects that you get with the mountain breezes and the wind changes that come through. And aside of the fact that it's very difficult for anyone on foot to access this type of terrain without actually being airdropped there. It's largely relied on air support to fight these type of fires. And they can go quite large in wilderness areas like this. Now today we have very hot conditions across South Australia. You can see that shading here and 40 degree heat as well across parts of Victoria. Today we have extreme fire dangers and severe fire dangers in South Australia. In extreme fire danger, fires can become unpredictable, uncontrollable and fast moving. You need to know what you're going to be doing in the event of a major bushfire near you. And then into Friday, total fire bans in force across all of Tasmania. Really from today and into Monday, we have those total fire bans. But we have dangerous fire weather in Tasmania on Friday. Severe to very high fire danger as we see temperatures between 35 to 40 degrees in Tasmania. And also between 40 to 45 degrees in parts of Victoria. With a dry westerly change in the afternoon, this is bad news for fires. This is a bad setup for fires on a day like Friday. You really need to know what you're going to be doing in the event of a major bushfire near you because fires that are already going in Tasmania and Victoria will be completely exacerbated by these sort of conditions. It's a dry change, and we could even see thunderstorms associated with it, which is bad news again for fires because it means they have to ground some aircraft too. On Saturday, we will see that cooler air envelop the southeast, making for more favorable favorable conditions to fight fires, but we still do have pockets of elevated fire danger.